What's up guys, Vern here, Poggy Boy Productions. So I didn't get to do an intro, so I'm back home in New Jersey. Didn't get to do, a, like I said, an intro in Florida when we went to Walt Disney because that was a very hectic day. What we managed to do was visit four parks in one day. Now I was debating whether or not to make it a whole video or split it into like three or four highlighting each park and uh, I didn't want you guys to be sitting through and watching a whole long ass video on the parks and maybe you just wanted to see a specific park so that's what I decided but if you want me to do a whole video on how we did that I could always edit it so comment down below if you want to see it so the first park we did was Animal Kingdom that's where we spent most of our day we spent half a day there and uh, we had some good food too as well I think it's one of the best meals I've had over there in Disney price was decent and the food was really good we had uh, I forgot what it's called but you'll see it in this video so anyway like I said four parks one day you do cut a lot of corners you know you're not gonna be able to see every freaking ride there you know you knew like whether your expectations I would say but we still had a fun time and it was mostly for the kids and I think the kids enjoyed it more than we did because it did get hot but anyway I'm talking too much enjoy Animal Kingdom and keep watching Mickey Mouse! Yeah, Mickey Mouse? Mickey Mouse! Alright! Tree of Life! Avatar! Is it the Tree of Life? Forget this. There's a lot of these in the movies, but not the size of that. It's a big one. It looks like a shark. That's cool. <laughs> Africa. That's why you... animal. The first one wasn't even discovered until 1901 by Western Explorers. Then more recently the first baby copy wasn't spotted until 2016 so they're really good at blending in. On the left hand side these are the saddle billed stork. You can see in. They are colonial nesters which means they nest in very large groups about 20 to 500 in a nesting group. Looking to the left hand side we're at <laughs> On the left hand side, we're also seeing the Nile hippopotamuses. I'm oh, sorry, Nile crocodile of life, which is the icon here at the park. It's a tree. Number 30. 
They are led by an alpha male and an alpha female to become the primary breeders of the pack. Now they are wide range hunters and they need lots of space to hunt. Winning in the wilderness again. On the left hand the Watusi people. Now their horns are ginormous. They grow about five to six feet long in size. But they're not heavy. There is a honeycomb structure inside them that keeps them nice and light. They do stand about 16 to 20 feet tall. Even their babies are tall. Beer giraffes will stand at six feet tall when they're born. Whew. Those are high sound, they're real reach. Giraffes actually spend about 95% of their day eating the himself. That's how you know. Male elephants will lead the herd of their mothers for the entire life. So this is grandmothers, mothers, daughters, sisters, and their children. And this herd, 18 months. When that baby is born, that baby weighs about 88 pounds and they gain weight about 8 to 9 pounds a day. The animal hangout zone, so not just lions but other animals as well. So let's say to his testosterone, which is the male hormone. That's why guys grow beards. And we do have a group of lions here. A group of lions is called a pride. In the pride, the females do all of the hunting, and they are nighttime hunters. They're right. Mac and cheese. Mm. Five dollar diet coke. Mm. Yeah, this one has coleslaw too. Onion rings, drenched in a uh, barbecue sauce. You got it. Mm. Oh wow! There you go. All right, let's try it. This is a uh, pulled pork. Mm. How do I uh, dip this? Like, uh, you could use your fork, yeah. Oh. Take off a little bit of, or smear it with. Use your knife, smear it with. Mac and cheese. And mm. There you go. Add more barbecue sauce to this. Let me get barbecue Ow. sauce. Ow. Ow. It's okay. Yeah. Cut. Oh, yeah, look at that. And then you smear it like that, you see? There you go, that's what you gotta do, Pam. Uh, you could also use your hands, mm. just pick meat and then you get. Yeah, the meat is hot though. No, it's not. No? Oh. Barbecue sauce gives it some kicking. Add a little bit of coleslaw and Mac and cheese. And pulled pork. A bit of everything. Chicken, pulled pork. Mm -hmm. This is heaven. Mm -hmm. It is good. Good choice. Ooh. It's wings edible. Everything's edible. Oh. You're going to eat that? It's good. It's pink. Your favorite color. Can I eat the flamingo? Yeah. You guys are going to share. Yeah. Can I eat it? You can eat it. Yes, baby. <laughs> what are you? Good? Kelly, you like it? <laughs> Premium ice cream bar from Disneyland. I have to get it.